Hey guys, Jimmy. Today we're going to go over how to determine fetal presentation and fetal situs. There are three basic types of fetal presentation. The first one is called cephalic or the vertex presentation. This is where the fetal head is oriented down towards the mother's feet or caudally, and the fetal feet are oriented towards the mother's head or cranially or superiorly. It's important to know that cephalic and vertex mean the same thing. The second type is called the breech presentation, and this will orient the baby's head towards the mother's head while the fetal feet will be directed towards the mother's feet. When you view a fetus in the cephalic presentation in the sagittal view, you'll see the head of the baby on the right side of the screen and the feet on the left side of the screen. When the baby's in the breech orientation, you'll see the baby's head on the left side of the screen and the feet on the right side of the screen. The third type is called the horizontal or the transverse position, where the long axis of the baby is perpendicular to the long axis of the mother. The fetal head can be on the left side of the mother, or it can be on the right side of the mother. Either way, it's the same thing. Now, breech has multiple subtypes, and the, and the first type here is called the complete breech. This is where the fetal legs are crossed down by the fetal bottom. So the bottom will be delivered first. This type here, this is called a single footling, where one leg is directed inferiorly into the mother's pelvis. This right here is called the frank breech. This is where the fetal legs are bent at the hips and crossed up by the fetal head. So the fetal bottom will be delivered first. This is called an incomplete breech where both hips are bent with one knee extended up with the foot closer to the head and one knee will be bent with the foot and bottom closer to the birth canal. And this is called a double foot link where both knees are extended and both feet are closer to the birth canal. To quickly determine fetal presentation, place your transducer in the sagittal view with the body marker or index pointed towards the mother's head. This will quickly give you an idea of the baby's position. Now because the baby's head's on the right side of the screen and the feet are pointed towards the left side of the screen, that means that this baby must be in the cephalic presentation. More specifically, this is the supine cephalic presentation. So the posterior side of the baby is down while the anterior side of the baby is up. If you were to obtain an axial view of the abdomen at the stomach level, you would see the spine at 6 o'clock and the stomach at 9 o'clock, which is the left side of the baby. This one image can give you a ton of information leading you to determine fetal situs if you pay close attention to the anatomy. So like we said, the stomach's on the left side, the aorta is posterior and to the left, the IVC is anterior and to the right, then we have the umbilical vein connecting to the left portal vein and the portal sinus with an L shape to the right. This is all normal. If you have the left or right or both markers on your image, you can at least orient the anatomy to help determine the fetal presentation. For example, you have the spine here at 6 o'clock. What you do is just draw an imaginary line from the posterior portion of the baby to the anterior portion of the baby. This will divide the left and the right side. Now looking at the rest of the anatomy, we have the stomach on the left side, the aorta is posterior to the left, IVC is anterior to the right, and the portal sinus is L-shaped to the right. The only presentation we can set from this is the cephalic presentation. So this can't be a breach solely based on the spine's position and the left and right marker. If this was a breach, let's say this was the right side, this is the left side, and the spine was in the same position, so the fetus is still on its back, you would have the stomach on this side, the portal sinus would be an L-shape directed towards the right side. In addition, you'd have the IVC on the right side and the aorta on the left side. This can't be a breach presentation solely based on the left and right marker and the position of the spine. This can't even be a breach presentation with situs inversus because the stomach is labeled on the left side. The next thing we're going to do is determine the fetal situs. Now, these markers here don't just automatically pop up as if the machine can automatically determine the baby's orientation, so someone had to go on blind. On your boards, you might be expected to determine the fetal situs or fetal presentation without these markers here. And in that case, they have to give you either two images, one of the heart and one of an axial view of the fetal abdomen at the stomach level, or they have to give you a sweeping axial video that sweeps from the fetal abdomen at the stomach level up to the heart and possibly to the three vessel view. So this is how we're gonna determine the fetal situs. What you'll do is you'll take your transducer, which is in the sagittal view, you'll rotate it until it's in the transverse view with the body marker on the right side of the mother or the index on the right side of the body. You'll start by placing your transducer until you see the fetal abdomen at the stomach level. And because this is a cephalic presentation, you're going to sweep caudally or inferiorly. If this was a breech presentation, you would sweep cranially or superiorly. What you'll do is draw an imaginary line from the spine to the anterior wall of the fetal abdomen. Then you can kind of decide which side everything's at. We don't know if this is the left or the right side yet. But we do know the stomach is over here. Then you're going to sweep from the abdomen to the heart. You'll stop 
draw another imaginary line from the spine to the anterior chest wall. If you notice that the apex of the heart is pointing to the same side as the stomach, this confirms your fetal situs. Now we know that this is the left side, this is the right side, and this is going to be the cathodic presentation. We'll see you next time.